Hey everyone, today we're going to look at Ember CLI Deploy and how to use it in our applications. So Ember CLI Deploy is a add-on for Ember that makes it really simple to deploy your applications. It has a whole plugin architecture, so if you're looking to deploy your app to S3, Azure, or even just a Linux server using SSH, it can do it all. So today's example, I have a SSH server that I'm running um, right now I have nginx running it doesn't have really anything on it it's just giving me a server error if we take a look at it you can see here uh, this is my nginx.conf file I really don't have anything going in it uh, I just have the root information location it's nothing really interesting in here and here's where the files are so I have a website called career.js and I'm in the process of moving hosts right now. So uh, if you don't know, it's a podcast that me and a couple of my other buddies do. We talk about career advice, but we want to get this website from where it's on now and we want to move it to this Linux website. So I thought, well, why not create a tutorial where we use Ember CLI Deploy because it is written in Ember to move it over to our Linux server. Now, of course, the easy way to do this is, as you can see here, I have it running right now. I can just build the site, grab everything out of the build folder, the distribution folder, and just copy it all over to the root of where we need to have it at on the other, the Linux server that has Nginx running. But for the for this example, we're going to actually use some tools and get to use. Uh, we want to use Ember CLI Deploy want to use some versioning, some things like that to make it a little bit easier to roll back updates and just want to really have a clean interface to deploy our app. So one thing I'm not going to cover in this tutorial is SSH keys. So obviously to be able to copy from one Linux server to another or if I was running on a Mac to run from my Mac OS to a Linux server, I need to create my SSH keys. I'm going to have to have a private and public. I'm going to have to set up my authorized keys. I'm not going to go into that in this to this uh, tutorial here, but I think DigitalOcean, I mean, I think DigitalOcean SSH keys, there's just a lot of really good tutorials on that already. Um, I'm using DigitalOcean, by the way. So how to use the SSH keys. So it really explains how to do it and then copy it over from one, to the, one server to the other. So... To get started, let's go ahead and start installing the add-ons. So I'll go ember install ember CLI deploy. That is the main one that you have to install first. And then we can start adding on these other plugins for it. So let's just take a minute. Okay, it's installed. So now let's go ahead and install the next plugin let's do deploy build and this builds our app but now it puts it the files to a directory it's pretty essential that we need it and we'll ember install ember cli deploy revision data and what this does is it creates a hash for the revision uh, use, it's used internally for the plugins. This is what we can use so we can actually do revisions. And then we also want to be able to display it. So we'll do CLI display revisions. So now we can display the revisions. One sec. Oops, let me try that again. I think it's Ember CLI deploy display revisions. I had a little typo there. Great. So we got all those packages installed. So we can just take a look to see here. So if we look at the deploy, this is going to be the file that we're going to use throughout the Ember CLI deploy to make sure everything works right. So we can configure this so that way works as we expected. So we're going to add an event environment tag here. This just tells us that whatever the deploy target is that we use to create 
um, when we build it that this that's the environment that's going to be selected here and then the next thing we need to do is make sure after this is that we look at the revision data and for the sake of this tutorial we're just going to use the git so what that means is that we're going to have to commit our every time we do a commit it'll use a SHA and then that'll be used to help store the revision data so to be able to do revisions we'll have to be able to do commits and so that should be that there and if we just wanted to just give it a shot we can do something like this ember deploy production here and while i'm typing this there's definitely a, quite a few great tutorials on this i'll link up to a couple in the sh uh, in the description below i think i actually created a tutorial a long time ago on this i'll include my tutorial as well but i didn't use ember cli deploy i just did it some other way, but I'll link it in the description below. Okay, so it, it did it, and it kind of just put it in the temp folder. It's not really helpful right now, but it definitely built it. So, but since we want to use something else, we want to use our Linux box, we're going to go ahead and install two other plugins. One is called Ember CLI Deploy SSH. And that will deploy to via SSH. And then we want to make sure we get the assets moved over. So we'll use Ember CLI deploy rsync as well. And once again, you, to use both of these, you really need to make sure you have all your private keys set up correctly. And you can even put the location of the private keys when you do the configuration. But I'll explain and show that in a second. So we'll do Ember install. Ember CLI deploy SSH index. This is actually slightly different than this one. Ember CLI deploy SSH index. It's this one. Had the wrong one up. It's very similar. And we'll do ember install ember CLI deploy rsync. Now to get it configured, we need to go to config deploy again. And I have it. Some of my variables already set here. So I'm just copying and pasting this in. Oops, let me do this again. Okay. So what this says here, make sure I got the commas in here is that in the remote directory for SSH index, we're gonna do it to a home deploy career.js, deploy career.js. And then this process.env, we actually, these are actually in a .env file on the root of our system. And it has all these variables and kind of looks like this, like username username equals deploy whatever it is so that's in these files this this to get this work by the way I had a lot of problems with the permissions I had to put the host IP rsync for the host instead of just putting in the host you know whatever the IP address is you have to put in the username first so I did deploy at and then the IP address so whatever it is and then that seems to work otherwise it doesn't deploy it correctly so let's save that and let's give it a whirl. So you can see here, there's a .env and this is the file that you can put all those variables in. So, so we'll go ahead and we'll try it out. 
see if it works. And by the way, most of this in this deploy file is straight out of the documentation. One thing I've noticed though, you kind of need delete equals false here. Otherwise, when it when it tries to do the rsync, it like it deletes the files, and then it you won't have the versions in there any longer. So you don't want it to delete it um, to override it at least and delete the whole directory. So that's why we leave it as false. And let's go ahead and try to activate it again. And this time we'll do dash dash verbose, and this will show us the exact output. Okay, great. Looks like it went ahead and copied everything for us. So now we can take a look at the revisions. Let's see what it shows us. So you can see it just has one revision there. You don't need to do dash dash verbose this kind of time. But so if we went ahead and made any changes and did a commit, then this would be the next revision. So let's see if it works. We can like we can just refresh this. And there's our website. Looks like it loads. So that's about it. You can see here, um, this is the career.js folder. Everything got copied over, everything's fine. So once again, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave a question in the description or in the comments below and please check out our, our career.js podcast soon you can actually just go to careerjs.com but it soon will be running on this server hopefully take care